and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Schultz, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Because we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. We want to let Brad, people out, people out there know there is hope. There's three ways to improve your COPD, chronic bronchitis, and or emphysema. And, and this is a population, our, we work with these people quite yeah, a bit over the last we see a lot of this. Years. And uh, but actually, chronic bronchitis and emphysema are types of COPD, which is chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Right. So we'll, and we're not going to go over, you know, what that is because we're, we're assuming you know, but we are going to go over things you can do to actually improve your situation. Sure. So if you're new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Also, you want to join us on our social media channels. We're usually giving something away. We, we will be starting to give away something again uh, tomorrow night. Uh, it's not nice There's, to tease them, though, Bob. Uh, well, I mean, we're always giving something away, but we're kind of in transition right now. This is the day sure. we pick the winners. Right. So. Yep. so go to bobandbrad.com, giveaway section. You can see what we were giving away and what we're going to give away. So also or the Facebook. Facebook it's pinned. Yeah, pinned, pinned to the top of the page, yep. especially by tomorrow. So when you have, you know, COPD or chronic bronchitis, emphysema, you're going to have this, the symptoms of shortness of breath, mm -hmm. you're going to have the chronic cough, and you're going to have sputum production. Sure. But you're also not going to feel well. Right. I, I mean, and you're, not, you're going to start not being able to do things you want to do, like walk the dog or go to get the mail. And so we want to show you some things you can do to, to, to get that back again. Right. So right. It, it's quality of life. Exactly. So and you can tell we... A lot of our patients live in rural areas because to get the mail is usually a distance. Right. It's not just uh, it's not walking down to the the door. Right. And, uh, yeah. Uh, so you want to start off with a pulmonary function test. You you know if you haven't had one already, I, I think that's really important because your doctor. Uh, if you go to your doctor, I'm sure, sure if you haven't had one, you say, oh, yeah, you probably should have one. Sure. Uh, just so you know what your baseline is. Right. And then you can see, do you get improvement with what doing some of these things? Right, exactly. So, um, and the other thing you're going to get, if you start doing some of this stuff, you're going to not only feel better, but you're also going to have less readmissions to the hospital. I think Brad and I see that a lot. Uh, sure. Working in a lot of skilled nursing facilities. People are always going in, and what's the... You know, it's a re, re exacerbation. Sure. A, a exacerbation right, right. Of, of a chronic bronchitis. Right. We see that People all the time. People go home, uh, they start getting back into their old habits. They're not doing what they need to do to maintain, and then they cycle through again. So, so uh, number one thing we want you to try is we want you to strengthen your inspiratory and expiratory muscles. That's the muscles that help you breathe in and breathe out. It's like weightlifting for your lungs. And, um, the thing that we recommend, that we highly recommend, is actually use of the breather. Right. So, I, which is a nice product invented by an occupational therapist. Respiratory Resp therapist. I'm sorry, respiratory therapist. She was around. She was at it for 38 years, and uh, she invented this device. They just improved it lately. They just redesigned it. Sure. But the original design sold over a million. So there was. This is their first rodeo. They, right. They've been around. So. So they improved it. They improved it. And what you have is you have a, a, a dial for air that you can uh, apply the resistance for inhaling, right. and they have a dial that can apply the resistance for exhaling. So again, it's just like weightlifting for your right. lungs. You start at a lower resistance. As it gets stronger, you increase the resistance on it. It's a wonderful device, and it's, the, the cost is, is very cheap. It's I'm very impressed. minimal, and uh, anybody can do this. I mean, because you can even have oxygen in place sure. and still be doing right. this. You can be non-mobile. I right. mean, you could be in a wheelchair and, and, and work on this. They even made one for the athletes for stronger lungs. Yes, they do. So but, it's, uh, it's across the board. Right. So, so what are we going to do, Bob? Well, um, you know, we're not going to spend any time really showing you how to use this because they have fantastic videos. They on do. I, I watched all of them. Yeah. And uh, they have a person. You have to go and take a look and see if they, you agree with me. If you know who Sarah Jessica Parker is, I made this joke before, but it looks just like her in my mind or looks very much like sure. her. So... Uh, I know she's no longer doing movies, and she's... Yeah, I, so, I never heard of her. You don't even know who she is, so yeah. <laughs> I don't get out much. It's all know. wasted on you, so... Uh, anyway, if you go ahead and get this device, um, it's 20% off if you use the link that we provide. Sure. Plus free shipping, so, you know, it's almost... They're almost giving them away, right? <laughs> <laughs> all right, number two. Um, once you've worked this out a bit, and, and you're getting your lungs better... Then I would like to see you do some exercise. Right, exactly. Once you get that oxygen 
uh, transfer and that carbon dioxide out, get the body moving right along with it as capable. Right. And so I'm going to recommend two things. One is just regular old walking. Mm -hmm. And, you know, obviously you want to set it up so that you don't get out too far and can't make it back. Sure. Um, but another thing that I like is using like this elliptical. Right. If walking isn't safer for you, you're maybe unstable, concerned about falling, get a nice seated exercise. And this is a nice one that we've been using for years. Brad came up with this idea, by the way, because you, you saw it in the store, didn't you? Right. I was at MC Sports, which I don't think they exist anymore. And I was looking for something that we could use with people in wheelchairs right. to get their legs moving and get some exercise. And this is actually made to stand on. It's like a, a whole mini yeah, elliptical. It's a, elliptical, yeah. And exactly. So when and Brad first came up with this idea, I was like, that's a great idea. And we first just put a couple two by fours underneath here. And that's all you need to do, too. Right, um, because this is actually made to be flat. And yeah. then you have to turn it around 180 degrees from where it's supposed to be used. And then you can use it like this. Yeah, and so you really get just this part here. And I, I don't know, are they still like 80, 90 bucks for Something free Something like that, the, yeah. The, I think they've actually come down a little bit. Yeah, and um, I think they make one now that is for people who do sit. Right, yeah. Uh, I think they They're a little lower profile. Yeah, so, but what you'll find about this is that they really move easy. Yeah. I mean, you can, you know, it doesn't take much effort to get it going. Right. But, and you can adjust the resistance, but typically this is, is good. Has a timer on it, tells right. you how many rep, uh, revolutions you make. I don't know how well that works, but I it always, Actually, it works good. I, I use it all the time, but they, they tend, I mean, after a year out. or two, sometimes. We've had some last a long time. I mean, we've had, I don't know how many of these in our clinics over the years, but right. they really last. They're built well. Yeah, they're, they, they, they've done a good job with them. Do that so. again, Bob. I wanted to point something oh, out. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, the nice thing is a therapist, we get ankle range of motion. We get some knee range of motion. So right. people with arthritis, you still get some movement. And a little bit and of hip. And the hip. Yep. yep. So what's nice about this is you can set this up and you can be in your house. You get tired, you stop. Right. You know, so exactly. So the third thing we're going to recommend, which is, to, I imagine, it's going to be hard for a lot of people to understand, is that you actually. Oh, I'm going to grab that. Do you ever want to grab that book over there, Brad? Yes, I oh, do. Um, you actually can affect your lungs by what what you eat. Um, so there was a study done. They had a hundred people, and fifty people they kept on their same diet. Yep, that's it. And the other fifty, they actually had them increase their portions of fruits and vegetables. Sure. And they studied them over three years. The people that were on their same diet progressively got worse sure. because that's often what happens with COPD. Right. It just progressively gets worse. The people who increased their fruits and vegetables, it not only didn't get worse, it got a little bit better. Yep. So you, you are what you eat. <laughs> and uh, I've mentioned this book before, How Not to Die. Um, really uh, well done, done by a physician. And he just has studies galore sure. on here. And uh, it, it'll change your life, I think, if you read this book. Sure. Um, and because um, it, you'll uh, find out that you've been eating some of the things you shouldn't be eating. Processed meats, bacon and stuff, unfortunately, not good for COPD. I oh, have no idea really? you hate to hear that, Brad, right? But if it's not processed, it's better for you? Well, it's better than processed meats, anyway, especially COPD. Sure. Is what, what, what they're hmm. talking about in particular. So, anyway, those are three suggestions. Um, give them a try. And uh, remember, Brad and I can fix just about anything. Except for. A broken heart. There you go. But we're working on it. Right. Yeah. right. I don't know if this will help. I probably that. would help. I well, bet. we'll give it a try. We'll put it in the recipe. Okay. Thanks for watching.